Hello, Trust is my old friend. I've come to build a bridge again. Because a gap is softly spanning. Made an arch that sent cars falling. And the government will throw me in a jail. If I die to be better. I like the sound of bridges. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 2. Uh, sorry about the cringy intros, turns out I, 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 I just love them. Anyway, we're heading back into the world. We're 43.8% of the way through the Glittering Gorge. And we're on to this level, a hop, skip and a jump. So what is going on here? What is that? There's a Tetris piece in there. So, oh, that literally just falls down and then splooshes into the water. Any reason for that? Anyway, so what does the car do up here? So it just plops off and it's not its not having a good time really, is it? So I'm guessing we need to do some sort of ramp down here. There, there is a star we've got to get and then we've got to end up up there where the flag is. I assume that this falling block just means not allowed to build there. So we're going to have to do some sort of a hop. And I'll tell you what, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to extend that. So something like that. So that is our big hop. We then probably need to catch this. Oh, man. we're get How are we going to keep the speed? Because that is a hell of a jump up there. We don't even have springs either. I mean, I'm not actually sure if my jump going up is good, you know. I feel like we lose quite a lot of quite a lot of momentum if it went lower. Yeah, I feel like that might actually be better because then I can build from that node. So basically, we just need to do a curve sort of like that. I mean, ideally, I'd want the road to be resting on the floor, but I don't think we're going to be tall enough. So let's say the car's sort of 1.1 meters tall. How tall is it to... Oh, no, it will. It will. Because I'm just thinking if that was like bang on the floor then we don't need to support that we can support those two and try something like that so where's that gonna land oh oh that landed pretty perfectly if i just slow this down that's not bad at all really the <laughs> these did go mental so if i just attach those is that gonna stop it breaking because that oh quite a bit of breakage if i just truss this all up a little bit more is that stronger oh yes oh yes it is but oh no <laughs> <laughs> the impact. So that road, that road broke. I mean, I could reinforce that piece. So if that doesn't break. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like you're not really meant to do this with reinforced roads. I mean, oh, that's still breaking. Okay, so basically there was no point in lowering it all down there. So if we raise it back up again, I am just going to replace all those roads with normal pieces. But then the impact should be a bit less because our car should be higher in the air. Okay, maybe a bit too high. Move it down very slightly. Okay, so because this kept breaking, if I just slow this down, I split it into like smaller sort of flexible structures. So I got like a joint there. It then goes onto this one. Oh, it's made it without anything breaking. Oh, and we're going to make it. Yes, we're going to make it. We're oh, we're going to make it. Trust me, we're not. <laughs> We we didn't make it, uh, but potentially I'm guessing I could just raise that a little bit, right? It's about 100 speed. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Oh, yes, we did it. Okay, so for a first stab, we're in the top third of all the players that have done this, uh, but I did pretty much exclusively use steel. So let's see if I were to replace these with wood, or at least all the ones I can replace with wood. Does that make everything end in tears? Oh, no, we had that piece break. I'm wondering, do I even need that piece? See, after a bit of tweaking, I've got it down to all wood. We're on 18,064 quid. So if we watch this do that perfectly, makes it up. There. Oh, it didn't actually make it. But after a bit more tweaking, we finally make it up and we're under 18 grand. So where are we in the leaderboard? Top 10%. I mean, top nine if you want to get technical. So I'll take that. Let's move into the gallery. Then the absolute cheapest way is probably using a glit. Yeah, did you see that? <laughs> So basically it falls down, makes it to the bottom and then a load of road lands on its head and sends it flying. Complete and utter cheating. Uh, but first legit one is this. So, oh, look, multiple small... Whoa. So multiple small bridges on the way down. Uh, you're not using that ramp again, though. That did fall off. Yeah, most people seem to do that way. This one uses a much bigger ramp. Uh, this one did do it the same as me. Just one at the top, one at the bottom, but a lot smoother. Uh, and obviously all of these are all wood with no reinforced road either. Let's go have a look and see what people came up with at the top end of the budget. What is 
<laughs> what is going on there? That's just... <laughs> I don't even understand what I just watched there. What does, oh, what does that say? Oh, does that say architects? Architects are sinking. I'm pretty sure that means architects are sinking. Love it. This guy has ruined some architects. And that was a belter of a bridge, Martin. All right, so this one, we have a bridge all the way down. Look, there is a gap, though. The gap is useful, as well as uh, two super strong pillars so that the car doesn't get crushed by that wooden platform. Yes, I like that one. Yeah, we then got... Oh, look. RCE. Love. Oh... I, I then got destroyed. So did the heart. Oh, thank you, Blade. All right, so what is going on with it? There's the... Oh, look. They actually... They lowered the bridge into the area after the weight fell. That is genius. <laughs> so, yeah, if you watch this, there's like vertical road. But as that goes past, it extends the ramp. So we easily make it across. Nice one, crying. Oh, and then this, we have a very cinematic... View. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. So they created their own like dampener, I think. So if we watch this land again... Yeah, so all the weight is like taken off in terms of like other weights. So although there's no springs, they made their own way of like creating like a dampener. All right, nice. Well, let's go on to the next level. Flexible, just like myself. Yeah, so what have we got here? Okay, we got double bus thingy, a bendy bus. Oh, and we've got to get up to that star and then back down down. Oh, and we've only got springs. Yeah, so I imagine someone's going to cheese this with spring cannons, but no, not us. We are going to do this properly. I mean, I could probably build a bridge out of just road, but uh, let's go with... We don't need to go that high. The, the bus is quite tall, actually. Only the top of it needs to clip the star. So let's go with that. Fill in with road. Boosh. And then we just need to truss this up. So I'm thinking, literally, if we just do a truss, I feel like the rocks underneath might be like a bit of a... Like it's trying to trick us. Like it wants us to build like trusses all the way down, but I feel like that would be like really expensive doing that sort of thing. So let's see. If we were going to do like that instead, if we then mirror this to the other side, do that shove the key spring in and then we probably want to change the tension of these springs but for now let's just see neutral what happens oh boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not quite what I wanted to happen there. But seeing as these ones under here will be in compression, if we were to, well, compress them again, then they should expand. So if I just do 20% on the first few. Uh, no, that, that hasn't quite worked as intended. Okay, fine. I guess I could use the supports underneath because although I can't go further than that, I could actually compress this 100%. And then that should spring straight down into that gap. So I can do the same on this side. I don't want that one. So you compress 100%. Got to aim right for that gap. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, that was a little bit too strong, I think. We'll try like 50%. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's not bad. That is not actually bad. I made the left one 30%, and that seems to work. Can the bus get up this? We may need some patience. Oh, no, it's not strong. It is not strong. I mean, it's, so, it's sort of strong. The bus is definitely on the bridge. It's not getting wet. It's just nowhere near the start. So I'm just stretching all of the truss ones because that will make them, like, shorter, uh, which hopefully means they won't flex as much. So I think this could work. Okay, I'm also thinking maybe, maybe I want to move that spring as well. If I cut it... Bang it there. Because then we're forcing the middle part of the bridge up a little bit more. But I think I've actually done this wrong. I think I want these compressed so they push upwards. And then these horizontal ones, they need to be stretched so they get smaller. I mean, all I'm really trying to do is turn this truss into like solid material. I mean, actually, why don't I why don't I just do that? We'll just make the truss out of road. Because road is actually cheaper than spring. So if I don't need spring, we're not going to use it. So as a bridge, that does actually work a lot better. We're still way lower than the star, though. But what we could do is something like this in the, like, down as the anchors. So they they get forced into the crevices. And then we got springs holding it up. We've got, like, four bridge pillars underneath. So, yeah, this could work. We're definitely getting higher. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll tell you what, though. If we just keep stretching these, so that's, like, 30. That's 30. If we make them all 30, that should push the bridge up higher. All right, is that good? Is that good? Oh, it's close. It is close, but not close enough. Uh, we, also, we also crashed into the ground at the end there. I can get more height by bringing these up a bit and then adding more compression down here. Because then I can bring all of these arms up and then I can bring the bridge deck up as well. So we are... Oh, we are... Are we close? I'm not sure if we're close. All right, so now the bridge is definitely taller and steeper because we're struggling to get up. But after a bit of patience... Yes, yes, 
Yes. Okay, we've got it. We've got it. You'll notice I did shove a spring down there as well. Uh, the main downside with doing that is we then can't actually get across. The thing is, if I replace that, like the, the bridge just rips. So if we leave the spring there, but then perhaps just flop some road like over the top. There's too much There's too much movement. Okay, what if I do another bit of road? So we got like a flat. Oh, what the frig? How much movement is there? Oh, come on. Okay, well, instead I could just add another spring like there. That'll be fine. There we go. Okay, I think this will actually be good. So we'll just fast forward so he gets grip. Now he's got the start. And then, oh no, will we actually fit under the... Oh, just... Just, yes, we're under. So we got to the flag, finally. <laughs> what a mess of a bridge that was. What the, we're in the top 6% though. I'm 20th in the world. First attempt. Oh, that has got me wondering. Can I like, can I do stuff to make things cheaper? So if I swap that spring with a road, that saved me like 50 quid. Oh, does this even, does that even need to be there? What if I did that? Okay, I, I see why it was there now. What if there wasn't a spring though and it was all road like that? Oh, the extra weight of the road isn't ideal, but it has worked. Assuming this last piece works because now there's no flexibility. No, we still fit under. We still fit under. Brilliant. Okay, so 22 grand. Oh no. Oh, that piece broke. I didn't see that piece broke, so it didn't count. All right, okay, that worked. That worked. And we gained an extra few places. Oh, look, no problem. I recognize them from the gallery. Can I save an extra 100 quid and beat them? Yeah, I'm going to say unlikely, probably. If I move that that way though no it just constantly breaks fair enough uh, can i make these a bit smaller perhaps so with a slightly smaller foundation on that side does everything work oh no yeah the trouble with moving these is i think like where those nodes touch the rocks it it does actually make a difference in terms of like the rest of the bridge oh that worked all right there we go i just did a little bit of tweaking and now we're 17th in the world top five percent of players baby. It's like I was a civil engineer professionally or something. Anyway, into the gallery and looking at the cheapest solution. 99999, nine, 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 nine. all the nines. Oh, it's just like proper dodgy bridgeness. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's cheap is what it is. So the next one's the same. This one, they've done all road. They did all road and they did it so cheap. Fair play. Road is the cheapest material on this level. So that is why that's so cheap. Uh, this one, pretty much like mine, but uh, they've just done a support in the middle, which is obviously a lot smaller, a lot cheaper. Wait, what? 25? No, that's not cheaper than mine. That's 25 grand. Mine was 21. Oh, so not everyone's uploaded their solution. Okay, so I'm going to go off this then. I am I came fourth. I came fourth. Anyway, we've got people that did all road bridges, but going absolutely mental with the road. Fair enough. We've got people that did all springs, which I sort of thought may have been the solution, but looked like a trap. Turns out it was. <laughs> Look how rickety that is. <laughs> Oh, dear. Yeah, we've then got this one. Oh, look at that. So it's got like the foundations like I did, but like flat roads and all the way across. A little bit excessive. Uh, has someone has someone done a draw? What the frick? <laughs> So they did a bridge that is sort of like a drawbridge, even though there's no there's no boats underneath. But then it fell down. I actually quite like that. Fair play. Now you got this guy. He says, trust me. I'm an engineer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And uh, get oh, they've done over and under truss supports with a support in the middle, all in spring. Uh, this one, we've got a solid support in the middle, not even efficiently designed. I mean, it sort of is. Uh, but then springs on either side to help with the getting the grip as it moves up. So you can see the bridge sort of moves about to give the wheels grip and then allows it back down without anything breaking. Nice. Uh, what is going... What, 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 the, what the, was that? <laughs> was that like a 10-story building? Filled with people crashing into the ground. We'll watch again. Yeah, I, love, uh, I think it was. So I don't like that one. Okay, I'm not sure. Is that an efficient shape? Or is that like an engineer? Like that's his nose. That's his hard hat. And then he's got he's got knobs for eyes for some reason. It's like all, all this guy see is knobs everywhere. Don't know who that's representing. Yeah, we got an all road. Bri oh, look. There's Whoa. <laughs> I'll see you. And then a heart. Thank you. Uh, this. Whoa. What is. What the frick? It's like spring confetti. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just carnage in the middle. There's, of course, a underwater dampener support there. So that's efficient. Yeah, then we got just a mess of spring. Oh, RCE, big. Oh, there's no, 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 knobs. Those knobs. And then this one. Oh, it's Paddy. He <laughs> made Paddy. Oh, Paddy. It's a Paddy. <laughs> oh, man. All right, watch it again. So we got Paddy's face. And then what does it say? Paddy. The right word says, sorry, devs. You don't have to be sorry for Paddy. I think it's just the other shapes they might not approve of. Anyway, we're on to the next level. Jump ship. And this one, we have vehicles in the background. They go at the same time as the motorbike. Hang on, hang on. There's blooming, there's checkpoints behind them. How am I meant to get them? Jump ship. Oh, we're going to have to do jumps. Whoa! 
One of my first ever Polybridge videos, actually. I, I think I made this guy who's Christian, one of the devs. I made him into Evil Knievel and I actually made him do a jump. I think this time we literally have to do that. Yeah, I'll put the video in my end screen if you want to see the, uh, the thumbnail of the Evil Knievel. There was, of course, Photoshop flames coming out of his exhaust. But yeah, let's see how fast he's going. Oh, he's going pretty slowly. Pretty slowly. I don't know. I was thinking of going like down and then like jumping up. That seems quite excessive, really, when I can literally probably just go like to there. I don't know. Maybe we won't have the speed to do that. So let's just put that in and then see. Oh, yeah, he drops straight down. So we are going to do this the logical way, which would be to go down, build some speed, and then jump like that. The trouble is, supporting this is going to need quite a lot of trussage. A little bit screwed what we can do this end. I mean, I can do I can do that sort of thing and see if that works. No, it's not strong enough. Right, what if we do like a more of a... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Slow down, dude. I'm just trying to make the ramp a little bit smoother. It's so lumpy. All right, so if we watch this with the stress on, you can see that bit of road's Really stressed out. I mean, I could reinforce. I don't like reinforcing roads because they weigh more. I think that top one is probably going to snap this time. Yeah, shock. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I could just replace that with rope because rope is a lot stronger in tension than wood is. I mean, could I just delete all that and then just rope like up to there? Okay, so now we finally have a jump. So we land. We land over here. Okay, so let's, let's just get our supports in. So that's pressing against the rock. So basically, we've got twice the anchors that we had before. And we can build over to there. And then I guess we'll just put some road in and see where that gets us in terms of the landing. Let's turn the stress off for now. Don't care about that. So, ooh, ooh, that wasn't too bad. If we just lower this slightly. Oh, that's a nice jump. Okay, decent. So now we've just got to get up to there. So if we just raise this side. I mean, ideally, I want to need another piece of road, aren't I? Yeah, okay. So if we wang that over to there, shove that underneath. Hopefully that's strong enough. It might not be. The angles are not ideal for that. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Yeah, see what might go up and over on that one then. Just because that's brought the weight more about the middle. So you, yeah, it doesn't. Well, I mean, it does rock quite a lot, but it doesn't rock enough that it breaks this time. Okay, so now this side, we just want some low down road to catch this guy. And then we'll go underneath so we can get a wall brace down there. So then let's just see. Oh, we're a little little bit a little bit high so we'll bring that down bring that down so in terms of the jump a lot better we do break though but i'm pretty sure if i were to delete that and put that in instead then the impact force of him hitting this ramp will go down there into the wall so i think that's a much better position for that bit of wood although that might now break we'll have to see Oh, not bad. The bottom one broke. I think if I just angle that down like that, then is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, we've done it. Just under 17 grand. Top 12%. 37th in the world. Uh, let's have a look at the stress of this thing. So I am just wondering, could I get rid of like, can I get rid of that? Uh, ooh, yes, but no. I mean, that broke. I could steal that. We're still under 17 grand. I mean, we're, we're still breaking though. Could I swap this rope for wood? That's usually a good weight. So that's a few hundred quid cheaper, but wood isn't as good intention as rope is. Yeah, it's it failed. You know what? I, I'm pretty happy with 37th in the world. Let's go to the gallery. Let's check out the cheapest wood one. Yeah, so it doesn't actually look that dissimilar, really. They've just been very, very efficient in their building. Uh, but worth noting, that first jump, it doesn't actually fling up. So, bear, so basically, it drops down a lot further onto that ramp there, which then collapses under its own weight. It doesn't break. It just collapses. All right. So to the last page. And what is that? Why? Oh, Oh, it's so bright. They made a lightsaber. So yeah, in my last video, you remember the meteor. Basically, if you stack like nodes, so for some reason in this game, they like, they glow. Yeah, so that's just showing us how that works, I guess. What is that? Is that like a fist? Anyway, it goes down. That, what? <laughs> oh, is it? I think it was RCE. There's the E. Yes, yeah, so this one. Oh, very smooth. There's a lot of ropage going on. Yeah, lots of support. Not entirely sure if they're needed. This one, they really did not care about the ow angle of attack because <laughs> Christian the dev just takes the road straight in the face to slow himself down. Uh, and then up there, what is that? Was that a cat flap for the... Oh, yeah, so look. So, yeah, on this side, there's a little flap for the boat to pass under. But as the bike hits it and knocks it down so it can just drive over. Nice. Uh, so, this one. Oh, what's going on there? So, there's a little contraption to extend the road into where the ship is. But once it's passed. So, look, boat goes past. Then that 
allows the ramp to be longer. Uh, spent 27 grand on it, so not really sure if it was worth doing, but very cool way of doing the level. Anyway, the next level is called Spring Back. We've only got four springs, but if you want to see that, you have to wait till next time because that's the end of the video. Peace, love, and bridges. Bye, guys.